Hey, what's up everyone? It's Nelson with iOS Softmodder, and today I'm going to show you all of the new features of iOS 7.1 Beta 3, which has just come out for developers. So I'm going to show you all the cool stuff that it has. First thing is uh, round buttons. If you head over to phone and go to keyboard, you'll see that this, um, the call button is now placed, uh, now has a circle icon. Before it was a large rectangle. Same thing if you call someone or if you call back, um, those have been changed all with circles, probably just to match with the rest of the icons on, um, on the dialer. Um, also, if you hold down the home key, and see this? This is also changed, and it's also uh, circular icons. They, uh, they've taken away the rectangles, presumably just to match everything and make it circular. Okay, uh, next thing is if you go to the keyboard, okay, um, you'll see here, uh, it's not a very noticeable difference, but the shift key and the delete key are slightly different. Uh, this one has white filled in, and this one has a gray filled in. So it's just a small difference. Okay, um, next thing is the settings. If you go to settings and go to wallpaper and brightness, and you tap on your wallpaper, you'll now see here uh, a small icon that says motion on. And if you tap it, you can do motion off. Before, you had to go to settings, uh, general, accessibility, and uh, turn that off there. So now it's just really quick to turn it off. And some people don't like the motion. I personally don't like the motion. So it's cool just to have it to be able to turn it off directly from the wallpaper preview. Okay, next thing, we'll head out of here, go to settings, and we're actually gonna go to accessibility now. And here, um, if we go to increase contrast, you'll see here now that there's a reduce white point that's new to these darkened colors and reduced transparency were always there, but now there's reduced white point. So that's on, I guess it dulls the screen, makes it a little bit duller, but it's not a huge difference, but it might save battery. So if you guys want to save a little bit of battery, you can have that on. Um, now for cosmetic differences, if you look at the phone, um, I know you guys won't be able to tell because I don't have um, the other build of older iOS 7.1, but the icons are a little less uh, bright, they're duller. Uh, you know, a lot of people complained about how the icons looked, that they were too bright. Uh, so they've uh, listened and they've dulled it down, so it's not as bad as it used to be. Um, if you go to music, and down here the repeat and the shuffle, they've remained the same. But if you select them, uh, they're now surrounded with a, a color-coded um, rectangle. So, you know, it's a bit more richer, it's vibrant, and you can tell, uh, you can just, it's easier to tell what, um, what the settings are. And finally, um, the small cosmetic difference also is if you go to Safari and go to the shuffle thing, I mean, go to the, uh, whoops, uh, go up here to the URL, you'll see that it says search web or enter site name. Before, that was a little bit shorter, and they've added that. It's not a huge difference, but it's just one of the differences that you notice from, uh, from the newest iOS 7. All right, well, cool. That's it, guys. Thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at iOS Softmodder. All right, thanks.